Not many fantasy owners had Titans quarterback Jake Locker in their lineups in week one, but he was in full command against the Chiefs, compiling 266 yards, two touchdowns, and no interceptions. Touchdown. Up next is a vulnerable Cowboys pass defense, which was the second best fantasy matchup for the position in 2013. It allowed 21 fantasy points to Colin Kaepernick in week one. Locker has two great weapons in Justin Hunter and Kendall Wright. Hunter led the Titans in targets and receiving yards last week, and he should thrive against the Cowboys secondary. As for Jake Locker, the only thing preventing him from a breakout season could be his health. Other players with favorable matchups include Texans running back Arian Foster. He carried the ball 29 times against the Redskins, a good sign that Foster is fully healthy. Expect another heavy workload against the Raiders, who struggled against the Jets in Week 1, allowing 32 fantasy points and ranked as the fifth best running back matchup in 2013. Eagles quarterback Nick Foles struggled in his season debut against the Jaguars, but expect him to put together a much better performance against the weak Colts defense. Players with unfavorable matchups include Patriots quarterback Tom Brady. He managed just a 52% completion rate against the Dolphins and only four and a half yards per passing attempt. Now he faces the Vikings' improved defense on the road. Be wary of Rams running backs this week. Zach Stacy is now splitting carries with Benny Cunningham. Both have a tough matchup against the Buccaneers' underrated run defense, which excelled against the Panthers in Week 1, allowing 13 fantasy points. A receiver to be cautious of in Week 2 is the talented Victor Cruz. The Giants are struggling to adapt to their new West Coast offense, and now they face the Cardinals, who allowed just 17 fantasy points in Week 1.